Hey, what is up and what is going on everybody here on my channel? It's your boy Mayo and we're back with another video. This is a video that's honestly been dead ass long awaited. Shout out to everybody who's been asking. I know you guys wanted to see a room tour and you know, I had to bring it to you guys. So since it's coming close to the end of the year, end of 2019, I'm bringing you guys end of the year room tour. This is my entire room tour in the Team BH house. I know a lot of you guys wondered like what happened with the Team BH house. We didn't hear any announcements about it. So I'm just going to break it down to you guys right at the start of this video real quick for you guys. So just to let you guys know. Team BH House is official. Me and Sandro are both living in it. There's only actually legally only one other person who's able to live in it as of this current moment, which would be Woods, but he isn't in a comfortable enough position to move out yet. So Woods is not actually living in it. But that being said, we just finished getting incorporated. There's a bunch of other stuff, legal issues that have gone down and we are going to be getting a new team house in April. This house will still be a team house. We'll figure out what we're going to do with it. Um, I'm not going to do a whole house tour until we figure out what other creators can move into it. But as of right now, around April to June next year, we're going to be getting a Niagara house, which most likely don't quote me on it because it depends on their situations if they're able to or not but myself motion possessive um yipica quite a few a couple other creators think there might be seven to eight of us moving into it around april to june next year so you guys better stay tuned for that but i'm not gonna keep that long let's get right into the setup so before i even get into the whole room tour i'm gonna get straight into my gaming setup so it's crazy, man. It's crazy. This setup. So if you guys see from the title though, before I go into the setup real quick, it says $35,000 gaming setup plus room tour. That's also because my shoe collection adds up a lot of it, which you guys will see at the end of the video. My shoe collection, I've actually had uh, for over two years ago. I haven't bought a pair of shoes except one of them in the past two years. Since I've been doing all this gaming stuff, I haven't bought any shoes or any clothing or anything. Just my gaming equipment is the only stuff I've bought in, um, other than team merchandise. All I've bought in is one pair of shoes, my two chains, and my watch which are the only things I've bought in the past two years with my money from all this stuff. Everything else has been back into the team, my gaming setup, house, so on and so forth. But let's get right into the setup. Alright everybody, so here at my setup, as you guys just saw real quickly, just going over everything. I'm going to go in depth about every single thing I purchased here, everything that I got, just explaining it. Honestly, I'm not too tech savvy, so I don't even know like half the specs or anything over this stuff, but it is what it is. So honestly, this gaming chair, it's literally nothing special. It's just a red and black gaming chair. I don't even know where I got it. Honestly, I didn't even get it. My dad got it for me a while ago, uh, while I was still in the garage, if you guys remember from that video. Um, so starting with the controller. We got the Scuff Prestige. It has a nice little case on it. Um, this is the Xbox Prestige controller. I got the four paddles. I got it fully customized. So I got the red little analog sticks. Got the red bumpers and triggers. Um, everything's just really red themed, as you guys can tell. Red's my favorite color. Um, right here, we got just the. I've had these for so long. They're so beat and worn out. HyperX Cloud 2 headphones. Um, I don't even know if they still make them. I know HyperX still does stuff, but I don't know if they make the Cloud 2s. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I switched to keyboard for a little bit. So right here, we got the Ducky 1 RGB Mini with silver switches. I think it has silver switches underneath. Maybe it's a 2. Ducky something. Ducky Mini something. The silver switches. I, I don't know. You don't even know. This Snowball, um, I didn't buy it. Uh, before when I first first started so like a year and a half ago I've had the same mic I'm probably gonna get a new one a lot of people complain about my mic so um, this snowball is legit just uh, it was my brother's so I just borrowed it um, this little glorious model O mouse super super light very nice uh, this is the mouse I got I used to have a razor tournament edition but now I got a glorious no yeah glorious model O I think it is pretty 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 sick this is just a basic like $200 monitor um, just like 60 Hertz just always been a side monitor just a little Asus nothing crazy 
Um, so yeah, this is just where I, if I open up a tab real quick, let's see, let's move it down, right here, open up a tab, oh, that's the top tab, this tab, just where, you know, I sort of just check over, like, the YouTube stuff, oh, wow, I need to fix the frames on this, oh, that's too bright, there we go, so it calms down a bit, as you can see, shit 165k on the team channel, still haven't updated in, like, five days, I'm, I am a slack, but it was because it was my birthday, but anyways, uh, yep, that's just where I keep all that. Up here is where I play my music on this monitor. So this monitor up here is the monitor I used to game on. Um, it's actually a 60 hertz, and I didn't realize it. That was 144 hertz the whole time. But it's a 27 and a half inch curved, it's 4K LTE monitor. Um, it was really nice. I just felt like it was too big to game on. So I just play some music here uh, now, and I actually just switched this today. And I just got my brand new, as you can tell, it's a lot clearer. Um, my dad got this for me at his work. He works at a computer technology company, but I got this for free. It's a 144 hertz monitor, so I'm very appreciative of that. Now I'm actually going to be gaming on 144 hertz. Realized I wasn't the whole time, so maybe that's going to help feel like things are a lot smoother when it comes to editing and stuff. So it's just nice, you know, just being able to move the mouse all the way over, all the way up. Three monitors, pretty clutch, pretty clutch. Right here, uh, if you guys can barely see, it's pretty dark. Sorry for the camera. I don't know. I'm not really good at this camera. I thought it was a good camera. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just me. Um, I don't know if I can get better lighting. Just, uh, it's like a Logitech, uh, HD 180 webcam. Whenever I used to stream with my masks on. If you guys are OG and you remember that, you used to stream with the masks on. Um, so it's just vibing right there. So that's, uh, I think mostly everything. Now coming down to the PC. Uh, I'm gonna put my flashlight on just so you guys can see it a little bit. Because I don't know why it's so dark in my room. I don't have any, like, bright white lights, which I'm definitely gonna need to get. But as you guys can see, it's just a... It's a pre-built um, HP Omen. It's uh, HP. It's already pre-built, so I honestly don't know any specs. I literally just went in Best Buy and I just said, "Yo, toss me the best, uh, toss me the best PC you got," and that's about it. So, yeah, I got my HP Omen right there. I think that was this was 1500 US or uh, Canadian. Sorry, this mouse was 100 US. This keyboard was 100 as well US. This mic I think it's like 80 dollars, but I didn't buy it. The scuff is uh, like $220. I didn't buy it though. The HyperXs were like $180 when I bought them. This monitor, I didn't buy it, but it's like a $500 and something dollar monitor. This monitor I bought for like $200 Canadian. This monitor was $600 because it's 4K curve, 27 and a half inch. I got my Beats Pros here. I like never really ever use them. Um, actually, I'm going to go over here real quick as you guys can see. I'm going to grab my little, whatever this thing's called. It's for the LED lights, so I can change it, so I can have it just like red lights, I can have it like green. But I'm just gonna put it white, just so it's a lot brighter, so maybe it's easier to see. I usually do this when I have videos, because it's just like white lights. So yeah, you can see a little bit better now. Got the Beats Pros here, little Fortnite things. My old um, Citizen Watch that broken. Got the two BH hats that you know I wear. I got three controllers here, so before I got the scuff, I was using the Xbox One Elite with two paddles. This was my controller. And then these are just two basic Xbox controllers. Uh, just like a 60 inch TV mounted on my wall. I haven't even really ever set it up. Sort of just chilling there. But come to this drawer. There is a lot of boxes and a lot of stuff. This is my old Corsair keyboard. Um, pull that shit out. Old Corsair keyboard. Glows red. Red switches. Pretty nice. This is the old Razer Tournament Edition mouse I'd use. Sort of just chilling there. I have my laptop right here. It's really dark. I'm not even going to show it all. But like my laptop's there and stuff. So just a couple of stuff I don't really use too much. It's my bed. You know, I got a little red and black theme. Made it pretty nice. Um, then coming over here. You already know we got the YouTube plaque for the Team BH. Team BH. I don't even know. This this is just a pain. This camera. There we go. Team BH. Passing 100,000 subscribers. Here, I just got uh, car keys, wallet, my two chains I just got, my watch. Glasses, candles. You know what I like about this desk, actually? I got it from Ikea. It has, like, little... You guys can even see. Like I said, it's really dark, and I apologize. Let's see if I can maybe turn it this way. Make it really bright. Probably not. <clears throat> but there's, like, two outlets for cameras. So that's pretty sweet. Um, like I said, leave my chair right there. Nothing crazy. So actually, in here, I do have a washroom, which is really nice. It's legit right beside... My whole setup, everything, so no shower in it or anything, but it's a nice little washroom for my room. This is just my room, like I said, so this is not like the whole house. Um, a little basketball net. Got a little mirror just chilling right here. Uh, 
this is honestly just decoration. We got a lot of gum at the back there. I have a lot. That's from way back, from when I was on residence. I was living on residence. Had a meal plan. Basically, just used the last bit of my meal plan and buy a lot of gum. Um, some candles, wine bottles, Disarono, some drinks for my birthday and stuff. And then, you know, just a fridge. Just chilling. Nothing crazy. I got my BA, another BH jersey under there. There's a couple more things I want to do to my room, but that's basically majority of my room right now. A little red matching theme clock. Um, now this is where some of the more expensive stuff I guess comes in not really but just my shoe collection So in here is my closet So the beautiful thing about my closet is literally the fact that it is right beside the laundry room So I, I legit just move stuff over have a lot of hats up here I don't really wear hats that much anymore. There's a bunch of my masks um, Some stuff here, you know, we got got these had these for a while before I even started doing YouTube my Versace jeans they're nice and blue. You probably see me wear them. I have this big ass Versace logo on the back. A bunch of little Medusa heads everywhere. Super nice, super nice. Got those at a in Florida when I was on a cruise. And here we go. Here's the shoe collection. This is where probably about like close to ten thousand dollars worth of money is. This is all before I started doing YouTube though. I've had all of these except for these. Since I've been running Team BH and doing the team, these are the only pair I've bought since. And the only reason why I even bought these is because when I was with Emily, if you guys even remember. I bought us a pair of 20 pairs, so I bought her the same thing. Um, we're not talking anymore, obviously, but that's the only reason why I even bought these. I don't even really care for materialistic things. I don't really buy like shoes anymore or anything. I'm wearing my Kobe 10s. These are the Kobe 10 mentality. So let's go from the bottom. These are my LeBron 9 Summit Lake Hornets. They're pretty beat. All my shoes are pretty beat. Like I said, they've all been here for like over two, 10 years. Or what am I saying? Two, 10, two years. These are the LeBron EXT Black Mints. Um, they're part of the EXT edition. They're black suede. They're really nice. These were like $400 dead stock. I did a little lace swap. They originally had brown laces. These, like I said, the Summer Lake Hornets are like 180 to nine, uh, 200. Nothing crazy. These are really beat. I wear these all the time, but these are my Columbia 11s. I got these when they released. I think they resell for about 400, um, but I got them retail, so it was 250. My bread 13s are super beat as well. They have the 3M field. If I had like a flashlight, you'd be able to see it. Um, these are like the 2015 release or 2016, something like that. One of the more recent releases, not the OG pair. Um, yeah, these are like 300 or something like that. I mean, I got my white cement fours. I got, these are not the OG. These are the re-retros with the Nike on the back. These came out again, once again, like 2014, 2015. I have a bad memory when it comes to that stuff now, but these are the re-retros, the third re-retro version of it actually. Um, or well, maybe second read retro. There's the OG and I think two pairs after. Anyways, um, yeah, these are like 350. KD six Christmases. I got these retail as well, way back. Oh, I gotta move so I get this little motion light to come back on. KD six Christmases, like 160, 160 pairs. Now these, these are probably my most expensive pair. They are really, really old. These are from 2009. These are the Raging Bull fives. If you guys are OG sneakerheads, you know what these are. These are the OG. Raging Bull fives. These right here are valued over dead stock, obviously brand new, not this condition, um, but brand new. These are over a thousand USD. These are extremely expensive, extremely limited. They haven't been released since 2009. Um, I did have DMP 11s. I did sell them though. They were 1300. These are just my Laney fives. Pretty beat too. All my shoes are pretty beat. Like I said, I've worn them a lot. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. These are the Laker 13s I got. Uh, yeah. Anyways, these are like 300. Um, retail these were like 250 retail, but I think they value around the same price gold tongue fives um, These value around the same price about 300 these are Oreo sixes these value around like 400 ish Like I said all my shoes are beat. They're all like two years old. I've been wearing them all I used to buy and resell I don't anymore. I don't really care about them that much. I sort of just had them These are white grape fives. Those are probably about like 300 as well um, these are champagne sevens. So I got these in a pack with the cigar sevens right here. So this pack was actually $780, I believe, seven, $800, something around there back when I got it. Actually, sorry, it was 900. It was 450 each for the pack. So these are just cigar sevens. They have a little ring on them. Got the gold little tip stand and everything. They're super nice. I wear them a lot. They are pretty beat, but I like wearing them. I think they're nice. These are my Barkley posits, so that was 900 for the pack. These are retailed around like 300, I think. Um, but I don't know what the resell is. I don't think it's too too much. I think they were a general release, so I think they only probably resell for about like 250. So I think you lose money on those. These were my first first pair I've had for a very long time. I've had these since pff, grade nine. They don't even really fit me. I took the soles out. Oh no, I put them back in. Okay, they're in there. Uh, yeah, these are the KD5 Christmases. These came back way back, 
what I think these came out in 2011 something like that when I was a young young bull young bull those are probably like 150 I got my LeBron 11 heat aways those are like $200 nothing crazy I got the ones I wear a lot these are my thunder fours I love my fours I got a lot of pairs of fours I love the thunder fours like I said they're all pretty beat though I wear them all the time but I like them a lot thunder fours they're pretty clean those are like $400 and these are probably my favorite I wear them a lot a lot they are very very beat as you guys can tell um, I do wear them a lot though I love these these are my Toro Toro Bravo fours these came out in 2013 I believe and I've got them since and I wear them all the time I still keep them in pretty decent condition considering I wear them a lot but it's just because I have a lot of pairs I do have a Charlotte Hornet what is it retro tens in my trunk and I have a couple other pairs upstairs but these are majority of my shoes right now so they are just here I used to have a lot more but I used to buy and resell I don't anymore so they honestly sort of just sit there and I just wear them um, just whenever you know got the Versace hoodie and just chilling like I said all my clothes every single thing you guys are seeing here was all before YouTube all before Team BH, all of that. I made a lot of money playing a different game called RuneScape. So I made a lot of money from that, bought all of it. The only thing since I've been doing Team BH that I bought is these pair of shoes, as well as my watch and chain, which you might have saw earlier. But that is basically everything with my room tour and my room setup. Um, it's pretty nice, pretty chill. Like I said, the only things I've bought is my watches and my chains. Um, yeah, that's basically everything that is my room setup other than obviously gaming equipment and team merch like the hats and stuff and jerseys That stuff I have bought and but everything else in this room um, Has basically all been there for a while From what I used to do like my beats and all that stuff. These are all pretty old. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the room tour um, Honestly, I love it. I just love my room. I find it so vibey So, you know, I'm just gonna put the little switch back on put back on the little mix colors We got the red red and purple vibes, you know just chilling, the shorties love that. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the room setup. I think it's pretty chill, pretty vibey room. I like it a lot, you know. Just watch Netflix on there, game, listen to music, chill. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to get back into videos. I think I'm going to be doing two videos a week. I'm going to do one highlight style video a week. As well as I'm going to be doing um, just one unique, different style video every single week. I'll think of something creative. I'll be tuning two videos a week on this channel. I'm just trying to really focus on the team channel. That's my main focus. So, But I hope you guys do enjoy. Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn on those notifications. But anyways, it's your boy, man. Follow the team Twitter. Follow the team Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Mass Mayo, on everything. Links in the description. I truly do appreciate y'all's support. It's been your boy, Mayo. I'm out. Peace.